Welcome to this edition of NetSuite Tips and Tricks presented by Go Virtual Office. Go Virtual Office is a top NetSuite provider with over 14 years of experience, where our vision is to always exceed customer satisfaction, be a market leader in cloud-based software, and be a great place to work. I will start by showing a standard customer form in view mode. So this would be what we're typically used to seeing when we look at a customer record in NetSuite. And another option that we have when looking at a customer record is to actually use the dashboard view, which you can see by hovering over this icon in the upper left-hand corner called dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and click that, and we're going to look at the same record, but rather than looking at it in standard view mode, we're going to look at it in the dashboard view. So what we can see is similar to our home dashboard, we have a bunch of portlets here organized on our screen. We can see key performance indicators that are filtered down to this specific customer. Uh, we've got some links out to some different reports that again would be filtered to this customer. And we have the ability to add additional portlets to this as well, such as transactions, some report snapshots, and so on. But what we want to focus on in this video is this customer default portlet. What you can see is just pulling fields from the customer record and displaying it for us in a portlet here in the upper left hand corner. Well, at first glance, we may decide that we want to do a little bit of formatting to this, perhaps reorganize the structure of some of the fields, and maybe put them into groups, something a little bit more logical, a little bit more easy on the eyes. And typically, when we are editing a portlet, we're going to go to our three dots in the upper right hand corner and either choose setup or edit but as you can see we only have the ability to remove this portlet from the dashboard itself and we know we want to edit this so the question is how can we edit out edit the layout of this form well what we can do is actually go into our customization menu and go to our entry forms and as this opens up, what we'll see, you know, we have our standard entry forms, we have our CRM forms, our entity forms, and our item forms as well. We are focusing on entity forms here in particular customer. And what we'll find here is actually there is a form called the dashboard customer form. And this is actually the form that is driving the display of that specific portlet on the customer dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and first just customize this form to give us an idea of what we can do with the form. You can see it's prompting for a name and an ID, but in terms of configuration, what we have available to us are field groups. So we can actually group those fields in some sort of logical manner. And then we also have then our list of fields similar to how we would customize other forms where we can, after we set up a field group, we can set uh, fields to display in each group. We can change our display order and so on. I've actually gone ahead and already performed some customizations to my dashboard form. So I'm going to go back to the list and I'm just going to quickly show what we did here. I've actually made it inactive. And so now we'll go down and we'll find my custom form that I have created. And here it is, our SCC dashboard customer form. So I'm going to first, I'm going to on and activate that one and then we'll go in and we'll take a look at it and just show you quickly what I've done. Again, we can't um, do all sorts of customizations, but we can do some pretty nice things with this. So we'll go in and just quickly take a look and I'll show you that what I've done is added a few field groups to this form. Overview, contact information and accounting. And then accordingly, I've set some of the fields that display in that form into those groups done a little bit of ordering. Um, nothing major here, but just a couple of simple customizations that I've done. I'm now going to go ahead on the form and mark this preferred so that this will actually be referenced when we look at the customer records in that format. So I've gone ahead and made that preferred. Now I should be able to go back to my customer dashboard and I'm going to just refresh the browser just to be safe. And what you can see is now in my customer default portlet, I've got some field groups here. I've got my overview, contact information, and accounting, and I've got the fields displayed within those field groups. So we've done a little bit of pretty quick customization, but we've really cleaned up that customer default portlet. 
something that your organization may find very valuable if you are leveraging the customer dashboard. If your organization or specific users within your organization like the customer dashboard view, you actually have the ability to go ahead and set that view as your default when viewing customer records. To do that, we can do that within set preferences. And on the appearance sub tab, right here down at the bottom under centers and dashboards, we can set customer dashboard as default view on the customer record. So anytime a customer record is open, that will be displayed using the dashboard view by default. 